we want to get your views on how to invest in this market because I think it's a treacherous business. On one hand, you see, we have a very volatile equity market, and on the bond side, we see that yields are below inflation. Um, they are below inflation right now, so negative real returns there. What do you do as a uh, as a fund manager, especially? Um, let us start with the equity market. How are you approaching that? Well, um, thank you, Wally. Um, basically, we, we stay with fundamentals. Um, we are value investors, so we see this. Um, period as opportunities to buy very good stocks. We're long-term investors. Mm -hmm. We're buying stocks today that trade at um, uh, P-E ratios and dividend yields of, particular dividend yields of above 5%. Mm -hmm. um, that might sound low, but in this environment where mm -hmm. money market rates are below 5%, that's very good. We're seeing stocks Absolutely. with dividend yield of 8%. Mm -hmm. We also do some sector plays. But basically, we look at the market from a bottom-up point of view. We look right. at stocks and we stay with, you know, with the value very good stocks. But what's your view on market timing in terms of trying to just get in at the right time? Is that something that you that plays on your mind when you're investing at all? Well, I mean, every naturally every investor tries to, I mean, time the market and get it right, but it's very difficult. So mm. we, we, we really don't time the market. We basically what we do is that we we stay with the stocks that we like and we buy them when they are cheap. Um, mm. And when it becomes a bit of a price, we try to take some profits and, you know, put it in in bonds or money markets. Yeah. Um, so really, we, we, we like I say, we're value investors. So we look at stocks and, you know, we, we've seen stock that we bought at um, uh, P ratios of 14, drop down to P ratio of eight and nine, and, you know, we see it as an opportunity to re-enter the stock. Yeah. Um, mind, mindful of the fact that we also have limits. We can't do more than 3% in any equity. For the big stocks, we really stay with the stocks that, you know, give us Running dividend yield and are trading at either below the book value for for banks or mm. dividend or, or dividend yields of above five percent mm. and you know forward P ratios of in the region of twelve to fifteen percent. Uh, I was just going to come to the banks and you just mentioned the book value as something that you are focused more on. I'm um, giving the uncertainty in the banking sector right now and obviously it dominates the equity market. If you're going into equities in Nigeria, you definitely have to go into the banks. How do you? What's your approach to in investing in the banking space? Well, uh, and of course, valuing banks. Uh, well, I, I think today we, 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 we look more on, on the book value than, than you know, the, the P ratios. And the reason is that the earnings are not real. I mean, we're, the bank's earnings today are basically based on recoveries and write backs of provisions. Uh, mm. But on a book value basis, you know, you accept you once you make take the, the view that the banks have made sufficient provisions, then mm -hmm. a bank that's selling at below book value for a good bank is a no-brainer. I mean, I tell you, some of the very good banks, a bank like ETI that has an African franchise that's growing an African franchise, selling at book value of 80%. Mm. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I mean, some some of the, even the big banks, mm. even though they're selling at more than you know book value of close to two, but they have dividend is about five percent. Our view mm. of the banking sector is that basically, I think banks are 12 months away from recovery. I think a lot is dependent on AMCON, unfortunately, we are going to an election period. So I don't see recovery in the next six months. Mm. So basically, as long-term investors, you know, we select, we just take a sector, take sector view, select about six banks, and we stay with those banks. And, mm. and we watch the, the numbers to take profits uh, at the right time, and also look at their quarterly returns and um, see what is going on in those banks. Okay, let's move briefly to the bond market now. Um, right now, like I mentioned, federal government bonds are providing negative returns um, or below inflation, but that is a sector that you definitely have to invest in, yes. given the uh, regulatory restrictions that you have. So how do, what's your investment style and what's your approach to that? Well, I mean, it's a difficult one. Um, mm. Based on the revised inflation numbers, Mm. The 20 year FGM bond is currently trading at 11.6%, mm. and inflation is about 13%. Mm. Well, we certainly see, see yields going up. We're also lucky, um, some of the state bonds that are coming to the markets, uh, you know, are trading at. Uh, give you yield of about 13.5, mm. maybe between 12.5 and 13.5%. Mm. But you know, it's difficult, Wale, because you know, what do you do with the money? So we, we, we basically believe that over time, with more issues coming from the federal government, mm. with a lot of issues from the, on the corporate side, and more importantly, banks, a lot of banks have been bond in the bond market. I mean, if banks today mark their, their bond books to market, right. they will take a lot of losses. And banks have be started uh, lending. Mm. So we see all these factors pushing up, uh, up yield to 13%. Mm. On the pension side, we look at our portfolio yield. 
we, we target a portfolio yield of between 14 and 15 percent. But mm. you know, th this year has been a difficult year, mm. so we'll be lucky to close with a portfolio yield of 12 percent.